Oh, didn't see you there. Confidence is a habit. And the longer you stay in a habit, the more time and energy you need to put into these habits to change them again, if you want to change them. That also means the longer you stay in a low confidence body and mindset, the harder it is for you to get out of it. And this is especially bad because you can feel how a lower confidence impacts your mood, your social life and the success in life you will have. And whatever success means for you as an individual, you know that in order to achieve that success, you need to at least believe in yourself and at least believe that you are worth it to achieve it. And this is confidence. The mindset for me back then and for a lot of people that struggle with confidence is that they think and feel and also have the evidence that other people will ignore them and that they not fit in anyways. It goes so far that people with low confidence diagnose themselves with depression or being that extreme introvert. And this is a huge misconception. The mindset probably is that people will ignore you anyways, that good things happen to the other people, not you, and that you're just someone. And this creates a huge problem when this is not fixed. Because you get used to that. You get used to how people will treat you and how people will see you and how people behave around you. And you think, you feel that this is the appropriate way to talk to you, treat you or to behave around you. But it's not. It's just a habit. If you don't believe in yourself, no one will. And the way people react to you is a direct mirror to the way you think about yourself. So fix this by doing this. The most common factor I've seen in people with low confidence is that they think they do not deserve to be seen or that they disturb others. So they hush around and try to be invisible and try to not get on the nerves of anybody. I know this because I was the same. I remember crossing a road on a traffic light as a pedestrian and the cars were next to me aligned waiting for their green light. And I felt their eyes on me and probably they weren't even paying attention to me, but it felt that they were judging me. So. I did not know how to walk anymore. It was such a weird feeling. All my attention went into the walking, something which is in my subconscious mind, which I do not need to pay attention anymore to. I know that so many people feel the same because they had the exact same experiences. The fear of public speaking is greater than the fear of death. That means that on a funeral the guy in the coffin is better off than the guy holding the eulogy. If you feel the need to hide from the world or people in general, you might suffer from low confidence. But there are easy fixes for that that everyone can accomplish. Take your time or how I call it, become the lord of space and time. When you rush around and try to not disturb other people, you not only show low confidence, but also communicate stress. But when you take your time walking and talking, people will feel that they should listen to you now. I mean, compare these two statements. Hi, I just wanted to ask you what you do on Saturday. Hi, I just want to ask you what you do on Saturday. You see how a slower pace conveys more confidence and also gives you the time to put in more confidence. Approach space the same. When you take less space for yourself, you also communicate low confidence. But don't confuse this now with the more space you take, the more confident you are. The rule of thumb is to have an open and inviting body language while you're taking your space. That shows other people that they are safe around you. And it also shows that you're relaxed with your time and space. Showing that people are safe around you and that you are relaxed with your time and space is a huge part of a confident body language. And it will give you a feeling of more control of the situations you are in and you will feel more confident. And why shouldn't you? After all, you are the lord of space and time. Implementing steps for effortless confidence are good and all, but it won't help if you still care about what other people think of you. So watch this video to get your non-BS guideline to not care what other people think of you anymore, so it won't affect your life anymore. And I will see you in that video.